On this one, we have another request from Rainplays asking if I could make a tutorial on how to get the AI to follow the player's mark. And to that, the answer is yes, Rainplays. I can and did. It was in the back of my mind to do this, but this comment brought it to the forefront. So let's head out to the field and take a crack at it. Okay, so to start this off, the map setup is really nothing. All you need is one object specifically, and it's a pointer right here. I have an uh, AI spawner already set up. It's an elite. He's on squad alpha, and he's on my team, so he doesn't try to kill me. But I will show you something where I have it to where he wouldn't try to kill me anyway later in the video. So for this pointer, you're going to want to name it something probably important i'm gonna mark this or name this mark t1 i'll explain the t1 later for the boundary we're i'm just gonna set up a boundary so you can actually see it you don't have to have a boundary at all this is not necessary but i want you to be able to see the uh the pointer appearing where it's supposed to be so i'm gonna have it showing and that's all you have to do with that and it, the only thing you have to do with the pointer is name it and just have it where you want the ai to go as soon as they spawn so now we're just gonna get into the scripting of it You'll see where I put this up here. I have it set to un, uh, undetectable by AI. So that way, if I were to switch teams to show you something, they wouldn't try to kill me even though they're not on my team. Okay, so to start this off, we're going to go to Events AI and On Squad Spawn with Squad Label. We're going to play, place that right there. Uh, let's change the Squad Label to Alpha. It's to match the AI that we want to go to this area. The Squad Label has to match this. So we go down here, or up here actually, to AI modifiers, set squad, follow object. Go ahead and plug these two in where they go. Squad to squad, the diamond to the diamond. As the, for the target object, that's our pointer right here. Let's go ahead and pull that into our script with Y. Place it back here. And just plug it into the target object. As for the follow radius, I'm just going to set it to 10. Because I know it's a safe number that did work for my follow the player tutorial. So we're going to keep it simple. And it's not very far away at all. So there. Now what he'll do is when he spawns, he's going to go straight here. But how do we get this to move to our mark? Well, that's pretty much the, the same amount of nodes and the same amount of simplicity. So we go down here to events players and grab on player mark. Place it about right there. Okay. Now we get over here from objects transform go down here to set object position we can just go ahead and connect these two up here the callout position will be the position it is relative I always have set to false because I had it set to true and it acts very weird very weird so it's safe to always have it on false uh, plug it in to mark t1 which is our mark uh, plug it into object and now it will work that's all you need it's that simple so I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in and there we go okay see it moved but he also follows it he'll go anywhere where we mark it and you can mark as many times as you want move it all around the map and he will go to the last spot that it stays or you can just kind of do it like this and he'll follow a oh see i have already hit the mark limit so if you mark it too many times just in general the game's going to lock you out of marking for 30 seconds but that's okay because that's all you needed to see so if you want the ai to follow just any player's mark at all that's what you do but I'm sure you don't want to just do that so I'm gonna go ahead and add on the second part of the tutorial here to allow you to separate it between the teams we're gonna go ahead and place one over here and we're gonna name this one mark t2 for mark team 2 we're gonna keep it just like that and duplicate him the only difference is we're going to switch his squad to Bravo Go all the way down here to spawn logic. Change it to Bravo. You don't have to change their team, but if you uh, have them on a separate team that you want to go and you know do this stuff, you're gonna want to set the team to Cobra as well or whatever team you want following. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this and bring it on into our node graph as well. We're gonna set this back here because what we're going to do is we're gonna scoot this down a little bit, and now we're going to duplicate this. We're basically going to set up the same nodes all over again, but we're going to add a branch down there on the on the on player mark. We're going to change this to Bravo. Go ahead and hook that up here, the same way we did before. Now you're going to have the object that uh, Bravo follows as Mark T2. 
So how do we get it to where it will only move if a player on that team moves it? Well, that's where we get rid of this connection here. We keep everything else, though. And we go down here, or up here, to Logic. My directions are all out of place today. Go ahead and hook this up here. And hook the if true up to here. Now we need to go down here to players and grab get player team. Go ahead and place it right under here. We're going to hook player up to the player there. So now we know that the player that marked, we're going to get their team. And what do we do? We grab a logic compare and compare the teams. Go ahead and plug team the team up to team A. And then on team B, it's going to see, is it team one? Is it team eagle? And plug that into the condition. And there we go. So if a player marks, it's going to check. Is their team team one? Yes. Okay. Well, then if it is, they're gonna, it's going to move mark T1, which is our first pointer, so that our first elite will follow that. But if it's not eagle and it's team two, we only have to add one node, and it's right here. Let's go ahead and move this back a little bit. There we go. And we plug this in to the false. And plug in object to mark T2 this time. I almost plugged it into mark T1. Plug into mark T2, and the position is the same. And that's it. Now, if a player on team 1 marks, only this one will move. If you are on team 2, only this one will move, if you mark. So, I'm going to go ahead and test it out, and I'm going to switch teams to show you how it works. Okay. See, they both went to the respective follow points. I'm on team one, so I'm able to move this one around wherever I want, and he'll follow. And if these two were on separate teams, they would be fighting right about now, and you can kind of move him over here while he fights, because you're essentially creating now a, a mobile move zone, and you just keep doing it. There you go. Now, if I switch teams, let's go over here to Cobra, and I move. Now this one moves, and he will follow. And you could do this for as many teams as you have, um, and it's, it's very, it's pretty simple. Lastly, you don't have, like I said, you don't have to have the boundary on. So we're going to, uh, take away that boundary here. There we go. And now let's give it a test. And now you should only see your mark. And he'll go straight to your mark, no matter where it's at. And you won't have to worry about the pesky box being in the way. And the pointer doesn't interact with anything in the world. There's no collision. And you don't see it. So there you go. That's how you get AI to follow the player's mark. If you didn't notice it at first, I did the basic explanation first. And then I added in the extra afterward. I hope that keeps things much simpler in the future. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new one.